morning sports fans. It is eight-ish, just before eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. Tired today. Uh, I've only got a short space of time, so I'm going to get out for about an hour today uh, for a busy weekend full of other stuff. I can't fit a ride in any of the time, so let's get the bike off the wall, hit the road, just probably go back and forth, out and back, sorry, on the road and uh, spin the legs, but yeah, I need this. Hopefully it'll wake me up. Up and over the A1. Say morning, Electric Jake. Good morning. <laughs> Lovely morning. It's a bit misty out today at the moment, as you can probably see in the air. Unless it's just my glasses steamed up. But like I said a moment ago, I'm going to do a quick hour today, out and back pretty much. Different routes than what you've probably seen before, but it is nice to be out on the road bikes again. What is it now? 10 past 8 nearly. Sun's up in the background behind us. Coming out lovely. We're going to head up this little uh, sting of a incline here. Up and over down into Elton. Do a loop of uh, Elton Village and back up this hill. We're going to go down in a second. And uh, head back towards home that way. But it should be around about an hour's ride today. Nothing too exciting. But I thought, I've not been on the road bike for a while, I've not filmed it for a while, so I get out and uh, show some of the uh, roads that we have this way. Oh, top of this little incline. What are we doing? Three and a half miles from home. I don't know what you can see today with the mist in the air, but you should be able to see out into the hills of Elton and over into Thanks, I think. Yeah. We're coming back up this hill in a moment or two when we turn around. Pubs, quite funky like. We have to remember we've come down two hills, which means we have to climb two hills now. You don't see many of these about now, these little red telephone boxes, but most of them have been turned into heart defibrillators for the, uh, the unfit cyclists like us climbing up a hill. Yeah, quite a good, good use of them. Now nobody's going into, into them to make phone calls. Come back up around the road, just from where we came down. Into the sunshine now. Oh, and back up the hill, we just came down into the sun. This climb used to be fun when I was skinny lad. Now I'm carrying a few extra pounds and not doing 200 miles a week, 250 miles a week. It's a bit tougher. Can we stay in the big ring? That's the question.
Oh, won't be winning any grand tours. Oh. Open over. Heart rate, 184. Oh, that's one way to wake up. We'll take a right here onto Bullet Road. Out on first golf club. This will be the start of our another small loop on the way back in. Can you see that tower in the distance, in the mist, right in the middle of the road? That's Moorbourne Tower. It's on the top of a hill in the area. And we're heading up there in a second. Um, it looks like we're going straight towards it, but we do turn away from it slightly before we head up the hill. But again, all the hills this morning, short and sharp, getting it in. See if you can see it better when we go over this little incline here. There we go, in the distance. That's on top of a hill, and that's where we're heading. Up and over that. You can see it a bit better now we're further this way. I can't see you, I'm steamed up. It's a funny old morning. But up over the bushes there, towards the sunshine, is the towers we're heading to. You can surely just see them over the top. I'm steamed up today. Can't see a thing. Maybe I'm not going quick enough. More born, let's turn. Round the corner, take all your speed out of you. And then up the climb. This is the climb I was talking about earlier on. Yeah, I'm recording, just checking. You might just be able to see the top of the climb. It's not massive, we're not talking out high climb. But in the local area, most people swear about this climb just because it's got a little punchy sting. Yeah, again, another hill that I used to quite like cycling up when I was 70 kilograms. Now I'm in the high 80s. It's not as fun. We'll get up and over it though. And there's the tower. You won't get me up there, I'm scared of heights. Stand up, stomp on the pedals and get over it. <sighs> Want to stay in the big ring? Oh, going up and over, nearly there. Not the most efficient way, but as you can see, where we've come from. Yeah, not the most efficient way of getting up and over, but we did it. Up and then to uh, Another village called Folksworth, just off the A1, for those that want a geography lesson. But again, nice little quiet village on the loop back home. What have we done? We've done 10.3 miles and it is 8.33 in the morning, so we're on schedule to be home before 9. Orders of management. Get home before nine. But yes, boss, we can do that. We'll take a left here back towards the A1, up and over the A1, onto the old A1, into the business park and on our way home. And that's it. As soon as we got into Folksworth, we're leaving Folksworth. No, that's fine. Up and over uh, the A1.
this entrance you can see just here on the right hand side is obviously where all the uh, the builders lorry drivers trucks whatever all the materials planners are going for great haddon which would be a big massive housing estate on there on all this land to the, the side of me and it's going to join up hampton the actually facet stand ground this new estate all into one big estate if you ask me it's going to be carnage because I don't know where the plans are for a new hospital, doctors, dentists, secondary schools to take all this influx in people but someone's got a plan and whether it's a good one or not I guess we'll find out but for a city that's already bursting at the uh, at the waistline with lots of people and uh, not so many services God knows how it's going to end up And there we go, there we go, cutting through back into the industrial estate on the way home. What have we done so far? 13.2, it's 8.43 in the morning. Deadline is 9 a.m. We're on track to make it, definitely. see ourselves in the mirrored windows. <laughs> the good news guys is we got an hour's ride in which has been good done 15 miles exactly and it's 8.49. The bad news is is we're cycling past Starbucks which is where we would normally stop and have a coffee at the end of a ride. So I'm gonna have to make do with the old Nescafe Azura instant coffee when I get home. But like I said, short and sharp today. Just a quick hour before the day gets on with all the other things I've got to do and I can't make it out tomorrow. So, appreciate the you are guys for watching. Hopefully see you guys again soon. And keep an eye out because in the not so distant future, I've got a week away traveling somewhere where I plan to vlog every day. And uh, I'll give you a clue. It gets cold there and it's got hot springs. Thanks again guys. See you later.